welcome to the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Totera. Norman, I got so much views on this one video I uploaded. I'm so famous. Oh man, your host famous. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we all dream of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, to be honest, I this episode hits too close, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's it's just that, ah, oh, man, okay, I'm gonna hold my tongue for a bit. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, uh, in today's episode, we are going to review Pony Life epi- Season 1, Episode 17. Um, <clears throat> uh, title of the show is uh, Pony of the Moment and One Click Wonder. I like what they're doing here. It's doing the whole um, two-part bit, but not really doing two parts. Like, they're their own episodes, but they're related, which is cool. So, in Pony of the Moment, the main six become internet famous after a recorded video of them goes viral. And in One Click Wonder, the main six try to make another viral video and their internet fame quickly blows over, much to Applejack's disappointment. Alright then. <clears throat> so, Tara, uh, first impressions of Pony of the Moment? <coughs> <coughs> well, I think it was, I, it was really, dare I say it, an actually good episode. And it, Kind of has um, it again. It also reminds me of a uh, uh, an episode from Friendship is Magic about a horse famous and whatnot. But it still has a good lesson, and it's like I I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it's just like I don't know <laughs> to people that uh, know horse famous people in the fandom, they might be like, oh, maybe this is how they feel or something. I don't know. I don't know how to exactly explain it, but it just has a good lesson. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you there. Like, for me, this episode was really good. Like, there's this thing where, okay, um, the episode is relatable. The, the episode is good or bad. Uh, like, the whole, ins- like, most of it is just no or whatever it is. But this one, I feel like this one, even though it's in Pony Life and whatnot, so that's why they can mess around or use whatever tricks they want to use. And... I felt like, okay, this relates to me so well. And that being said, like, okay, being a podcaster, being on YouTube slash iTunes and whatever, so, like, you do want to chase for that uh, fame. You do want to chase for that views because, well, uh, the more people know you, the more content you can produce and the more content that you produce and so on. It's a it's a vicious cycle of uh, popularity and whatnot. So, this hits hard. Like, I totally relate to this episode. And, yeah, get, for some people, the first part of this one, Pony of the Moment, is like, the horse fame that goes to their head is very dangerous. It's, it can lead to chaos, if not handled right. And what Applejack did in the episode was pretty okay. I mean, like, uh, I totally agree with what her decisions. So, before we uh, move on to the One Click Wonder, let's review um, Pony of the Moment first. And if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the episode. So, we start off the episode with the girls at Sugar Cube Corner baking their goods for... I'm guessing this is what? uh, Celestia's Cupcake Order? Uh, could we? Yeah, I think what last few episodes, uh, they got an order from Celestia to do something about her birthday cake, why not? Yeah. So, anywho, uh, they're filling orders and trying to get the orders done, uh, baking cupcakes and trying to send them off. <clears throat> the girls are helping Pinky, except for Rarity, who is just. Not really in the helping mood. She's just playing a game on her phone. And Pinky's asking her really nicely to help. So, uh, she doesn't. But we get to see the rest of the girls, uh, help Pinky by decorating, uh, by what? Baking, icing, putting cherries on top, and Rainbow Dash doing deliveries. And, Pinky hits a breaking point where she just, you know, really asks Rarity to really lend a hand. But 
it doesn't seem to go anywhere. So, <coughs> Rainbow Dash pops in and says, No problem, Pinky, I can handle the machine, no problem, because I'm fast and whatnot. So, uh, by saying that, suddenly Gummy trips on one of the levers and accidentally sets the machine on top speed where the cupcakes go out on top speed and Rainbow Dash tries to well pack them up and send them to Pinky and in this scenario here Pinky just stacks them and tries to balance them all and Rarity is recording Pinky because she's doing something funny haha <laughs> And it seems that everything is okay in the end. Like they got the deliveries done and whatnot. So uh, with that, they just uh, go to the next day. The girls are just relaxing and whatnot. Suddenly, uh, Spike drives in and says, Yo, girls, you guys have a letter from the mayor of the internet. Oh, man, that's just dumb. <laughs> and... Um, Rarity says that's impossible Ru, because I only uh, send that video to you six. And Spike says I'm guilty. I, I uploaded it onto the interwebs and the video got what about million views or something like that. And the girl just say, Oh, um we shouldn't really like this go into our head, like the horse fames and whatnot. And Unfortunately, they do, except for Applejack. Applejack doesn't really understand horse themes. And I'm going to pause here. Tara, what do you think? Well, at first, when when the episode uh, started off, I thought it was going to be like um just a Rarity episode because Rarity is just sitting on her phone recording and playing games and whatnot while everyone else is doing the work. And even to the point where Pinky snaps and be like, Rarity, a little help. And then later on, once they're done, it's like, Rarity's like, oh, darling, you did such a great job. And it's like, you didn't do anything. And it's like, okay, it's one of those things. And then all of a sudden, they change to Spike coming in. It's like, hey, you can get a million views. And they're like, a million views? And they have their eyes, like, with the numbers. It's like, okay, now this is one of those things where it's very relatable. Yeah, totally. The, the shift in teams was not bad like I, I i like it like even though the opening was a bit clunky but you know the middle part was really there and i just love how Apple, uh, rainbow dash just says don't let get the fame go to your head <laughs> and suddenly the next scene oh fame's gone to her head and you done Tara? yep i'm done all right then. so once the got to the well, well once they go to Shuriki Corner we see Twilight not understanding why the video got viral and tries to analyze it and whatnot but eh she just dismissed it. And we see Pinky here um talking about a machine that do frosting and whatnot and hashtag spawns. Like ah yes. She gets sponsorship. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. And then like See, this is this is where the fame kind of goes to their head. Oh no! <laughs> so um, the day ends with them uh, closing the door and just pooping out because well they're tired. So the next morning comes along, and it's a ghost town. Nobody is interested in them anymore. No views, no audience and whatnot. And it looks like it's cool with this, while the others are not really. And with that, episode ends. <sighs> well, that was pretty fast. So, you know, I'm going to hold my tongue for a bit because we can just wrap it up near the end. So, Tara, what do you think of One Click Wonder? It was pretty much like a setup episode because they talk about getting horse famous and then they get famous for like one day because you got people making duck faces. Oh, sorry, not people, ponies <laughs> making duck faces and all that stuff with the lips and all that. And then after Applejack's like, you know what? I'm cool with this. That's it. We had our popularity for one day that we can take a break. And they're like, yeah. And it's like, ah, to be continued. It's like, yep. So, but yeah, I don't know. It's, I see this more of like a setup episode. Uh, true, true. And that's what I mean from the very beginning. Like, the show is doing the whole part one, part two thing. And yeah, it is two different shows, but it's kind of still the same thing. Like the setup, then the, what you call this, 
uh, the conclusion. Yeah. So yeah, my 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 views on this is like okay, we we get to see how they kind of get back to normal. <laughs> so with that, uh, let's carry on. So in one click wonder, the girls tries to plan a way to get them more viral and more famous again. Uh, they check their tablets and whatnot. There's no fan mails or anything. Uh, Pinky's icing machine broke down. Hashtag spawns. And then uh, Twilight is just analyzing things and sees something where... Okay, uh, what makes a viral video? And those are animals, comedies, and something. I, I forgot. So... Uh, they try to recreate the magics, but yeah. it doesn't seem to work. Uh, from Rarity trying to do an impersonation of Applejack, to Fluttershy uh, trying to do funny animal video, but not getting ready and whatnot. So basically, it's not working. Applejack, on the other hand, has been trying to, what you call this, uh, trying to get uh, lead a normal life, telling the girls, yo, uh, let's have fun, let's just do our own thing and whatnot, let's not worry about this. But they've been ignoring her for this while. So, <clears throat> Applejack suggests, why, why don't we, um, what you call this, uh, hang, out at, hang out at the farm and pick apples and whatnot. It, it'll be fun. So, yeah, they, they they don't really do. They do to go to the Apple Farm and see, well, record Rainbow Dash doing some awesome tricks. And it seems to work and whatnot, but yeah, Applejack is having none of it. So I'm going to pause here. So Tara, what do you think? I feel like some people fall into this trap because I know when I first started my YouTube channel, I wanted to be famous as well and pretty much what they were saying like we get all these people looking at us and we already mentioned that we can get awards and be stars and you know just come up with all these things and then after they're like missing the point of you know just having fun and then later later on down the road with my channel it's like yeah you know i'm very much just doing this for fun not trying to be famous or anything and then, and then apple jack's like oh i can't handle this because they're trying so hard and it's like they're they're missing the point of just hanging out, being friends, and that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's the whole thing. Like when we when we do the videos, it's always uh starts off as having fun. Then when it goes down or when it goes along, it just becomes work. It's just trying to chase that views, trying to chase that algorithm money and whatnot. I mean. Personally, for me, I, I don't have algorithm money. I'm not sure about you. But it's just the it's just those things where sometimes when you do this for so long, certain things happen. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to try and wrap this up so we can go to the conclusion. So yep. the girls notice Applejack heading for her farm and, this, uh, and realize that, oh no, we messed up because... We didn't really pay attention to Applejack. So, uh, they all go to Applejack saying that, yo, Applejack, let's hang out and just not care about horse fame and whatnot. Like, just do things for fun. And Applejack's happy. And suddenly, oh no, her stool broke. And funny moment happened. And it's all recorded on video. Haha, <laughs> Spike got it all on tape haha ha, that's very funny it'll be a great video to upload because it is funny haha ha. uh but Pinkie Pie says oh no this um no upload no video just us having fun and whatnot and they all have a group hug and Spike sees the tablet saying oh um the video hmm, I should delete it and in my mind Spike you could just have save it save it to the side and don't upload it you can just show it to the girls it'll be still be valuable oh god pretty much like just how save it and you can show it to your friends and everything but you don't have to always record everything <laughs> you do onto the internet yep yep and with that episode ends so Tara what do you think of the episode overall overall it does have a good lesson and shows how much uh, well not how much but it shows uh, 
what being uh, not like fa- celebrity famous, but like video TikTok or YouTube famous or horse famous, whatever you call it, can do to you. And it's like you're kind of missing the point. Like I remember in one part when they're looking at uh, Applejack going to the farm, Pinky's like, "Ooh, what's this filter?" And it's like I think it's the outdoors. That is a strange filter. What was that? I mean, <laughs> in the year 2021, like, what's that? Yeah, you know, it's it's like we don't even know what outdoors are nowadays. I know. Is that beyond the door? <laughs> I think so. Where food comes in? I mean, the food always comes to me. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, you know, Uber Eats, no uh, DoorDash. <laughs> yeah, Uber Eats, DoorDash, skip the dishes. Oh, that's cool. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boys. (laughs) Uh, So, for me... Oh, wow. This episode was fun. Like, I I like how um, deep and thoughtful the episode can be. But at the same time, too, I like the approach that they took. It's not too heavy. It's not too serious. It's just a light episode with heavy meaning behind it. And they wrap everything up uh, nice and clean uh, to be expected in any Pony episode. And the episode itself, honestly, was kind of okay. Um, like I mentioned before, this episode hits deep because I used to be in that uh, mindset where I need to chase the fame. I need to be horse famous and stuff. And doing the podcast and getting where I am now uh, it felt really bad. Well, now as in the present uh, past tense where um, I was having these thoughts. It was, what, a few years ago? Five? five four, what? Two, three years ago? I don't remember. But say, um, the, the point of the matter is, I, I had thoughts like, oh, um, nobody's really paying attention to me. Why am I having that kind of thing? And like, it's, it's a real bummer when you look from my point of view, which was... Okay, uh, I've been running the podcast for long, so long now. Uh, my subscriber count is this much. And then I'm not getting, um, what you might call this acknowledgement or, um, accolades and whatnot, whatever is the word. And a friend told me, like, <coughs> um, are you doing this because you aim to be horse famous or, uh, you just doing it to have fun? And it took me a while to be really honest. And when I had an answer and really thought about it and really toned down what I have been doing, and you you can really see in how the work from back then uh, to now is. like There's a huge change, a shift of tone. But the thing is, uh, I kind of said that I want to have fun. Like, I want to do this just because it's fun and entertaining for me and others. So I don't really have to try too hard and not get the what accolades and whatnot. All I need is just to have fun with me and my friends. And that's where, if you notice, the show's format change into more of a lighter tone where uh, it doesn't really have to be all serious, like uh, where you read notes and whatnot. I, I sure you noticed this, right, Dara? Uh, I think so. And then it's more of a more hangout kind of deal, where we just talk about ponies and have fun. Yeah. I mean, now we don't have Silver here, but still, we still have fun with it. Yeah. So it's one of those things where I, I notice that, okay, after realizing what I'm doing, I just tone everything down and just have fun. And... Uh, for people who are coming in to the, uh, I won't say fandom, but to the uh, YouTube space doing doing what we're doing or doing whatever they're doing, it's just that you always remind yourself like what you're doing. Because if you're not a major company like a PC, whatever it is, or game channel, you're doing it mostly for funsies, like just doing the stuff that you're doing. But at the same time, too, it's really hard because could you just imagine yourself doing a, what, unboxing channel and then 
uh, MSI or um, a good example, maybe Razer um, sends you a keyboard and mouse to review. I mean, that gets to your head somehow. Like, oh, this company wants me to review their stuff. That's cool. Oh, um, review, review, review. Get free product. Oh, no, yes. Get views and stuff. I mean, there, there's the slippery slope of losing the have fun kind of thing and it becomes more of a business. Yeah. And yeah, we all dream of that. Like, I'm serious. I, I'm, I, I can seriously say that if you do get that, you be you won't be working where you're working now. Am I right, Tara? Yeah, pretty much. So that's the thing. I mean, it's a slippery slope. Uh, being horse famous and whatnot. I mean, we all dream of it. We we, we all do. But in the end, not everyone can do it. But the most important thing for us is just to be ourselves and do the best we can, because people follow or people follow us because they like our personality they like our uh, they share the same mindset as we do and they want to hear what we have to say agree or disagree that's besides the point so yeah it's mostly do the things that you want to do because you want to do it yes that was a bit of a roundabout way to say it <laughs> oh boys but anywho Tara what are we going to do for next week's episode <laughs> Next week's episode, we are going to talk about the movie Godzilla vs. Kong. Ooh, I finally my. got my ticket from Norman. <laughs> you realized something. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, next week's episode review, we are going to review uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, the newest one, not the retro one. Yes. Yeah, because in the olden days, uh, there was a movie called Godzilla vs. Kong. And that one was, let's just say that time has not been kind. Yeah. But I'm sure there was good points over it, right? Oh, yeah. Well, another thing, too, actually, is that uh, I guess they, this is why they swapped it around. Because uh, in the original one... Uh, no, no, no they... stop, 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 stop. We'll, we'll talk about that one in the Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh, no, we, I was just going to say about the title of the oh. movies. Oh, okay. Because in the original, they, they call it King Kong versus Godzilla. And in the new one, they call it Godzilla versus Kong. Mm-hmm. So oh, that, that's, okay. they probably swapped it around so people will get confused. Ah, uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, anywho, okay. if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at imagergmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Sorry, uh, the Demi's show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortera1324. Or they can just do a Google search and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, stitch radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PlayBlive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbsshow. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank uh, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I have been Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Bye-bye. So being horse famous is awesome, huh? I get to go to conventions for free. And I get to do stuff that people don't really know. <laughs> oh man, I wish I was doing that. Hey, don't forget about the time where uh, we did a panel on BabsCon. Yeah, true, true. That, that was fun, that was fun. But nah, man. Like, ah, like the olden days before BronyCon ended, a lot of people really, uh, like what, a lot of the horse famous people got to go to conventions for free. Th- those were the days, man. Those were the days. Those, those were, what, what, what do you mean? Uh, those were the time or those were the things that horse fame can get you. Nowadays, horse fame can get you nothing. <laughs> nope. <laughs>